Hey everyone, Legend here, and we're coming at you today from Bush Stadium. I'm gonna try something different on the YouTube channel, because myself and a lot of the other guys at In The Loop, we all love baseball, and a lot of times when we travel for theme parks, uh, we go to baseball stadiums. So in this video, we're gonna show you around Bush Stadium. We're here in St. Louis, we did Six Flags yesterday. Today, we're gonna go to the stadium to see the uh, the Cardinals play the Phillies, and i show you around, because all these different ballparks have really, you know, kind of interesting and neat features. This one out front of the team store is a whole bunch of statues, you're, you know, your, your famous Cardinals from Stan Musial to Ozzy Smith to all other ones. And then uh, Molly is here too, who uh, is just here. I don't know anything about baseball. Nope, she just said she couldn't name a single Cardinal, but she likes to drink and have food. <laughs> so that's an important part of your ballpark experience. <laughs> so we're gonna go in there, show you around the stadium and uh, see what it's like to catch a game here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. So across the street from the stadium is the ballpark village, which have a whole bunch of different restaurants and bars and uh, a really cool place to hang out. And even if you don't have tickets to the game, just come down here. And they have like giant bars. Like, look at the size of that bar. Also, as part of the Ballpark Village is the Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum. So if you're kind of a baseball historian, it's gonna be a good place for you to check out. Now, Bush Stadium is probably most famous for their incredible view with the uh, some of the city skyline, but more importantly, the gateway arch in the background. Just makes, you know, if you're sitting on this side of the stadium, it's just a beautiful view to watch a game. Also, they have a, a couple of giant, giant jumbotrons here. So normally drinking at the ballpark is pretty expensive. Uh, but if you come here early, they do a happy hour on the Budweiser Terrace, which is on the fourth floor in, in right field. So from when gates open until first pitch, you can get a bush light, not the best of beers, for five bucks. And they have this wonderful countdown clock to let you know when happy hour is going to end. Um, besides that, they actually have a pretty good selection of canned beers here. So uh, not a bad choice anyway, but uh, if you get here early, you might as well head up and get a cool view and uh, drink a few beers before the game starts. Still up here on the fourth floor terrace area, you got some really cool couches. So if you get here before the game or the game's not very interesting to you, you can come out and hang out on the couches. Also, you know, get a cool skyline view in the background. Also up here on the terrace is a uh, nice outdoor area where you can play cornhole against your buddies. Really, really nice area out here in, uh, for pre-game fun. $4 beers and then uh, games and shenanigans. So something that classifies as new to me is they have a couple of these like grab-and-go kind of locations where essentially you walk into a mini mart and then you grab whatever you want, whether it be, you know, cotton candy or, or beers or whatever. <laughs> you could self-serve, soft-serve? Like, that's pretty neat. The whole thing's interesting, and then you just, uh, you know, you pay at the end. So I definitely, it's a build your own Sunday for $9 with toppings. And then a, a large beer selection. They have a couple of these in the stadium. Uh, something I've never seen in any other ballpark, so I think it's pretty neat for me. So normally when we come to ballpark, we don't order that much food. But when you have a booth with bacon-wrapped food, you know we had to do it. And uh, so we went for the bacon wrapped hot dog. It's gonna be 10 bucks, but it'll be, it should be fantastic. There's also a bacon cheddar bratwurst basket. That sounds pretty good too, but we're going bacon wrapped hot dog. And here's what that $10 gets you. Uh, you get your choice, like there's a lot of toppings you put on there. We went for uh, grilled onions and fried onions. And you could see like the bacon on the sauce, on the hot dog right there. Well, um, we probably can't eat it here, can we Molly? Probably no, not. no, we really cannot. But we'll give you, we'll let you know how it is. So I just had my first bite, and I loved it. Uh, the dog's got a lot of crunch to it between the bacon, the dog, and the crispy onions. Mike, give it a whirl and see what you think. She's giving me a thumbs up and and uh, eating, um, struggling to eat it. But I love it. Like for ballpark food, like it's it's pretty nice for ballpark food. It's very good. The bun falls apart. Yep. Which is a little difficult to eat. But it's a tasty but it, bun. Yeah, no, it's really good. Highly recommend. So on the first floor by section 135 is a Jameson bar. As an Irishman, I do enjoy me the occasional Jameson. I gotta say the prices for a specialty craft cocktail pretty high at 14, no, 1525. Bar looks good though. So here's the view from our seats. We're in section 136, row 13. And uh, we actually bought these almost last minute. We bought these on StubHub. So we got a really, really good deal. We went, we're went. we on a, a Wednesday game against the Phillies. So not the most popular game. So we got these seats last minute on StubHub for $14. And these are some of the better seats I've ever had to a baseball game. Uh, also, I'm a Yankee fan, so normally uh, 
the Yankees contribute to higher ticket prices, whether they be on the home at home or on the road. But I mean, these seats for 14 bucks, pretty good. Also, they have a ton of vendors that come around at all times. So the, the beer guy is always there. If you want to get loaded, you can definitely do it down here in the 100 section. So on the first base side is the 1764 Craft Pub. And I wish I would have found this earlier in the game. It's all craft beers on draft. Like local beers, not local beers. And, uh, you know, not cheap. 20 ounces, uh, 13 bucks. Or you can get it in a growler, which I don't actually, oh, okay, they're over there. For like $22, but so, like, I loved it. I, I'm a big craft beer guy, so this, this is pretty fantastic. So if you guys watch some of my theme park videos, you know I love the fresh order donuts. And uh, just like at theme parks, they have it here, they have one of these machines where they make the donuts fresh and they travel to the Magical River of Greece and they get covered with all sorts of stuff. Here you get to pick like a vanilla or chocolate glaze, candy sprinkles. I'm just gonna get the dingers tray. It's like, not a Cardinals fan, so I don't need a souvenir helmet. But uh, six of these. So a super unique thing here at Bush Stadium is they have their own Build-A-Bear workshop where you can pick any number of characters from like a Budweiser Clydesdale to Pikachu and then dress them up in whatever kind of Cardinals garb you want to pay for. Um, this is really, really cute. Like you can even dress them up as a hot dog. Yeah, the whole thing's fantastic. Um, a really cute offering for kids. So before we went to the game today, we went to the Cardinals website and looked up food at Bush Stadium. And they have every single food item in the prices listed. So that's why we were able to find that we know, like, hey, we got to come to section 153 because they have the half big cookie dough company and like a whole bunch of different types of cookie dough, which is uh, the thing Molly found on there. And she's like, we've got to do it. She doesn't care how much baseball or beer we drink. Baseball we watch or beer we drink. More beer than baseball. Yeah. But uh, at least she didn't want to order the hummus over there. I do but like hummus. Cookie dough, 650. This better be delicious. In center field, the family pavilion, so you got a big soft play structure, and then you've got a, some sort of virtual reality exhibit, which could be neat, and then a speed pitch thing. So if you have kids, uh, center field is going to be where you want to head. So on the fourth floor in right field is the Terrence Grill, and what I really yeah. want to show off today is the uh, the Grand Slam Mixed Grill. I saw a couple people walking around with it, and it's craziness. It's four chicken bags, two orders of sausage, all the boxes shaped like that. Look at that. It's so cool. I always love when parks do like unique stuff. And that's definitely unique stuff. Also in dead center field is the uh, the Cardinals Authentic Shop. So this is where you get like game used stuff and autographs. This is really like your high brand souvenir store. So if you're watching this video and you have lots of money when you come to Bush Stadium, or you're drunk and want to buy some autograph stuff, come to Dead Center Field on level one. So in left field on the 200 level is the uh, Budweiser Bowtie Bar. And this is a gigantic bar. Like this is a really, really crazy sized bar for a ball bar cap. This one's kind of weird to me. They have a, throughout the arena, scratch off lottery ticket vending machines, or like a, um, you do like pick the green. A little weird. Behind old plate in the uh, in the third and fourth floor is the perficient perch. But the big thing here is they have like loaded up nachos or nacho tots. Definitely a bit expensive, as if you want to get your nachos with like beef on them, seventeen dollars. But then they have ones with tots, and that's awesome too. Because like loaded tots, I would definitely take over nachos. Out here by section 167 is the Cardinals Team Store, which is a very, very large store. So if you're looking for Cardinals merchandise, that is probably gonna be your go-to. That'll be your, there's a lot of other stands, but come out to a section 167 to get the best selection. They do have some fun items in the Team Store, like this giant party bowl, or like a, like a chili clock, <laughs> or a beer mug. The uh, cocktail glasses are really cool. And they have like a stemless wine glass as well, some pint glasses. Like if you're a Cardinals fan, you could spend a lot of money in here. You could buy the ugliest shorts in the entire world. So out in center field, they have some really kind of neat concession items. First of all, the uh, 
smoked brisket sandwich over here. 12 bucks. And then you get into a couple of like cocktail bars. The Whiskey House. Again, you're like, you're, you're gonna pay for these cocktails, but uh, if you're a whiskey fan, it might be a place for you. And then we move over, right next to their whiskey house is their cousin, the Sub-Zero Vodka Bar, with kind of the same idea. So I love getting local beers whenever I travel. And uh, that's why we're waiting in this line now, because they on draft, they have a three urban chestnut beers, and we're going to get the IPA. It's a 16 ounce beer, it's 10 bucks, so uh, not terrible ballpark prices, but not great either. So on the fourth floor in the right field, they have a couple different things on the terrace area. You get your fisheye photos of your family, and then there's uh, the St. Louis Football Club has a booth up here where you can spin the wheel and win different things. So like, I want a sticker, and uh, Molly won a bracelet. So uh, free stuff's always good, right? So I got my picture with that awesome mascot there with the giant mustache. Uh, I guess he's here, he's some sort of soccer team. I don't know what that is. And I'm, this Molly's in the shot, so the shot isn't super awkward. But I, I just wanted to show the mustache guy. So when you think of St. Louis, you obviously think of barbecue. And out in the uh, right center is the Broadway barbecue, where you could get a, uh, you know, a barbecue basket or platter. It smells pretty fantastic. So I love me some cocktails, but I don't think I would ever order cocktails on tap like they have here at this stand by uh, Section 160. 